everyone, this is Joan Pratt with the Remax Professionals and today our Scout Colorado is featuring another local owned business. In fact, our owner here is from Castle Rock, although we are here at the manufacturing plant in Aurora. So we are at Cabby Cabinets and it's K-A-B-I dot N-E-T. That's correct. And that's how you can, that's his URL. So it's kind of cool, it spells cabinet with a K. But we are here today to look at his really unique European style cabinets. Um, we have them in our home and uh, we just absolutely love them. He's recently done our garage, has all kinds of bells and whistles, which we're going to get to show you today. Um, he's also done a kitchen for me in my office and um, we just thought it'd be a good chance to spotlight your local business. So well, it's very much appreciated. Yeah, our business has been here for over 17 years and we make cabinets for the trade as well as individuals and it's medium to medium high-end kitchens and really there's no job too small. We do all sizes of projects, uh, individual kitchens to bathrooms and other specialty rooms within the home and uh, we also work on larger projects in the Denver community as well. So tell us about some of these big projects. Well, like I said, no project is really too small but we've been through the years doing projects where developers or designers have asked for us to uh, be involved with a project and it might involve more of the European style of look but uh, some projects by name are the Four Seasons downtown, the private residences, uh, Watermark, River Clay, One Riverfront, uh, Solera, names that you may have heard when you're walking on the streets of Denver and come across them. But uh, we also do projects uh, on the Western Slope as well as here in the Denver area and uh, individuals homes and uh, new homes and a lot of remodels. The models have been very very big during this COVID time where uh, people are spending time dreaming and thinking about things that they want to be doing within their home or upgrading their home just before they do something bigger like buy a newer home. Can you um, give us an idea of sort of the process to to go under a transformation like this? So they would call you to set up an appointment or they'd start on your website. How does that look? Well, a lot of them go to the website and that's how they find us because we're a unique company. We actually don't have salespeople that are out looking for clients. And so they find us online. Uh, they look at our website and our gallery of photos and there's a lot of variety that we can go from very modern to uh, semi-traditional and these looks are based on the colors and the hardware types that the people would select. But after they get acquainted with who we are, they come in with their designer, their architect. Uh, some people are a little more uh, experienced in the construction industry and may come alone on their own and uh, most have a drawing or a design of their existing space and what they want to do. Uh, we don't get involved with the construction of the home per se, but how our cabinets can fit into the spaces that they're looking to make change in. And uh, we talk about these areas, we talk about what they love about their existing home or things that they've seen, things that they want to stay away from, and then our designer meets to uh, find those things and creates a design. So then after that meeting, uh, we set up another meeting that includes a budget on the, on the kitchen or the space that they're trying to remodel and they come in and review the drawing, make sure everything looks the way they thought it would look uh, to, and meets the budget. And uh, then from there we go into the next step of refining that design and coming up with a solid number based on the finishes that are picked for the outsides of the cabinets. And sometimes it's as simple as a two visit process and in other cases it might take three or four visits. Uh, once that's all decided, we go out and take measurements and the order's been signed off on and, and we're moving ahead. Okay, and so how long does it take from dream to reality? Yeah, well that depends on how much dream is in that <laughs> equation, but uh, typically a visit has a space of about a week's period of time between each visit. And so if the average uh, discussion is a three-visit three program, that's three weeks. Then a sign-off and on the drawing and the initial payment, and then we go out and measure. And uh, our lead times vary anywhere from three to six weeks, depending on the material types that the people are picking. Okay. If it's uh, materials that we have in stock or can get within 
a week or two, then we can follow that three to four week window. If it's something that's special order, it leans more towards the six week window. Now this is actually a manufacturing plant here, right? It so is. you assemble materials from different places and you custom make these. Is that that's what you guys do here? Yeah, everything is made to order. So nothing's pulled off a shelf and just used or figured into the project. Everything's made to order. And what's unique about what we do is uh, the sizes, they can vary for width, height, and depth. Uh, we make very tall counters for basketball players, let's say, that want a, a larger, a higher height. Also depth, because culinary-wise, there's people that want a lot of countertop surface to prepare foods, and so we do special depth cabinets as well. Uh, we're very, let's say, flexible in sizing and making all of that come together and in a space so that all the products uh, fit the space and we don't have huge fillers and things are very tight to the needs of what we're trying to do and follow. Um, when we get into other parts of the design, you know, there's things like mixer cabinets. People want to pull a mixer out. Uh, they want a series of trays or, or uh, drawers that have a lot of utensils in them or knives and how you access your knives and things like that. It, it gets pretty interesting. People have certain things that they definitely want in their kitchen. Well, and I can tell you from a customization standpoint, in both of the instances where Cabby did our cabinets, we had some really strange things. Um, in one of them, we had a staircase that we had to drop down. It was a former stage. I don't know why, maybe for little kids, Lilliputians. <laughs> and, and we had it cut down, but there was still in the corner of our kitchen for the office, there's this big square that was at counter height. And so it, it was kind of a weird thing that he had to build around and, and it just turned out beautifully. Um, the second thing is, is in our garage. And so for all you guys there with the man caves that are building these extra garages, listen to this and you have to come see Kevin's garage because it's really, really pretty now. Uh, pretty. I don't know why it's so pretty <laughs> and he won't use the word pretty but it's pretty and he comes home and he just smiles and one he's looking at his car but the other thing he's looking at the garage and um, we had the uh, foundation walls of our garage kind of stuck out from the rest of the walls and Steve I mean he just designed around that and so literally if you look at the back of our cabinets they kind of go up like this like this like this and up but from the front it looks picture perfect and so that's the kind of thing that he's able to do with, uh, with his technology and his machines and his products that he has here that uh, really give you that total custom look. Yep, and uh, it's an award-winning facility. It's very unique in its own way because there's a lot of machinery and uh, CNC equipment to help us do our, our jobs out there. So we're not as labor intense as we would be with using the CNC equipment. And so we have drawings that when we draw with that software, it actually creates all the logic that is driven down to the machines and so we don't have data entry and things like that going on. And uh, then there's fewer mistakes that can also take place. But uh, it's, a, it's a facility that has a lot of material handling, conveyors and transfer cars and lifting devices and you'll see that on the walk around. Some of the cabinets have servo drives on them, okay. so they can open doors, uh, they can open drawers, also trash can units. We can have things that come down from behind uh, wall cabinets that store spices or cutlery and things like that. But again, people can use their imagination of how that works. Uh, we don't have to work with what you'd call traditional toe, toe bases either. Uh, they can be built up onto legs uh, and when I say legs, we're talking like stainless steel tables that the cabinets will set on in order to give it a very open and airy wow. look. Wow. Uh, so then my remote, my robot vacuum could vacuum underneath the underneath, stove like and the cabinets. Like some of the islands we have here in the showroom. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, I in my house have been on a process driven organization spree lately. And so I have a new project for you. We'll oh. have to talk about it a little bit later, but. I had this brilliant idea. I have this tight hallway from my lawn, my garage into my house. My laundry room's there. And it's always a disaster. Three kids, shoes everywhere. Not to mention the husband. His shoes are size 13. 
and his soccer bag and everything goes there, I want to blow out my whole hall closet in there and make cabby floor to ceiling organization for myself. And you can put coats in there, right? Yeah. And then we can organize. Everyone gets their own little bin with their coat, like a locker. Yeah, yeah that sounds all doable. And it can go all the way up to the 14 foot ceiling. Yeah. And we'll figure out how to get up there later on. But Good storage. Yes. Right. And I can organize the heck out of my house. There so you go. That's a start. There you go. All right. Well, um, what should I be asking you that I haven't asked you yet? Well, I think you've done a pretty good job. <laughs> Cabby's all about repeat business and referrals and network. And that, that's how our company just keeps growing. Fantastic. Thank well, you. we're super excited to go tour some of this. Do you guys want to see what he does? picks it up it actually weighs it and sizes it so the arms will come out right now it's checking the weight and now these rods will measure the seat good and then the registering software tells it where it picked it up at so, oh. and then it takes off and puts it where it needs to go You can see the hardware is in the cabinet all ready to go. And it doesn't get scratched, it just rolls. Yeah. I'm working really hard. I can do this in heels. Yes. Jose's been with me for 17 years. Wow. But when you're looking at it, you don't see any glue. It's all trimmed and perfect. And then a label tells us the customer's name, the job. It's a tall right cabinet, and it gives us the size, the cabinet number, corresponding to the drawing, and uh, metric size, which everything in the shop is metric. And then we got three quarter inch white, two-sided that this part is. Tells, it, tells the person where to edge band it with the letter E and the number of the edge man type to use. So there's, you take a lot of mistakes out with the use of illustrations and numbers. It's a German laminate and it has self-healing properties. You can feel the clay. It's a clay material. Go ahead and use your fingernails. Anyway, you can rub any scratches out on this. And so it stands up to wow. adverse use or wear. But it's a, it's a very nice laminate. Now is my favorite part of our tour. Well, Introducing you to Steve is pretty special too, but we are going to check out the cool things that these kitchens and garages and bathrooms and closets and did you, I didn't even mention that. Do you know that they can redo your closet? How cool is that? Come take a look at these really cool features. So I'm going to try and remember some of them, but check this out. So for people that live in small spaces, there's so many cool things that these cabinets can do. Check out this Lazy Susan. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. But if you've got wasted space in the corner, they have all these custom things to uh, make your space a little nicer. All right, check this one out. Let's see, I know, I think it's this one. Oh, look at that. There's a microwave in there, who guessed? How cool is that? You can build in your appliances. 
Look at this, this is the tea drawer. It's got your mugs on the top. When I was talking about organization, you can organize the heck out of it. But when Steve was talking about how long it takes you to finalize your dream, after looking at these options, you'll understand what he really means by that. Let's take a look over here. This is our pantry, the pullouts. All right, well, if that didn't lift your skirt, as one of my clients likes to say, check this one out. What? Do you have an automated cabinet? Is this gonna make us dinner too? I don't know, it's pretty cool. Now look, you just press this little hinge and down it goes. Okay, you have a super tight space. Maybe you are very OCD and you don't like all the crap on your countertops all the time. Well, look at this one. Is that not the coolest? Oh, it looks like I need some Mexican oregano to make my dinner. Okay, check this one out. This is the integrated trash cans and it has a little integrated drawer above it. How cool is that? And now we're gonna go look at this kitchen from the 50s, which I don't believe anyone would possibly buy, but Steve says he sells at least one of these a month. Go figure. So this is the integrated trash right below, I think that's an oven, and integrated composting bins, or dog food, cat food, whatever, right here in a super tight space. How cool is that? This one has a lazy season too, but it's a little different. Watch this, if I can figure out how to do this. If I can figure this out, anyone can. Now watch this. How cool is that? There's all this wasted space in this corner, but there isn't any more. And then these really pretty designs, that's one of the cool things that he can do with his cabinets is they actually have some texture. This one is super smooth, but my cabinets in my office are kind of like this. They're not that uh, three-dimensional, but you can definitely feel the texture on them. And then these ones, you can see, as uh, Steve was talking earlier about how the feet, they can actually have like a metal stainless steel shelf kind of thing that they put them on. And I was mentioning my little robot vacuum could get under there, so that's kind of cool. These are those double drawers again. And over here, so this one, this one, what does this one do? I don't think that was it. I think this one was it. Ah, look at that. That's cool. That never gets old. Um, wow, look at this. This is for your sink. So your plumbing for your sink would go in between these and you could actually still utilize the space on either side. And there's lighting under here. Did you guys check that out? And then look at this. This is another one. Again, this is the under sink side. So it's cut out where the plumbing is against the wall, but you can still maximize the rest of the space. Well, what do you think? Could this be one of your new kitchen designs? Did we inspire you to organize your house? How about your garage? Or maybe even that closet that your kids just keep throwing their shoes and their clothes all over the place. Well, if you have any of these home improvement projects like this, give Steve a call. Make sure you tell him that you saw him on our, our vlog. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And if you have a local small business that you'd like us to feature in our next Scout Colorado, please reach out to us. Be sure to like and subscribe below. This way you can get the latest updates on our Scout Colorado. Thanks for watching. Make it a great day.